Hello, geometers. This is Ms. Backfish, and I am here to show you how to construct using a compass and straight edge only, and we will specifically use a safety compass, a perpendicular, meaning a segment that is perpendicular to another segment or line through a particular point. So I'm going to be making, and let me use my colored pencil here, I'm going to be making a segment that goes through that point and is perpendicular, meaning it makes a right angle with this line down here. Now you might be asking yourself, didn't we already do this? Didn't we do a perpendicular bisector of a segment? Yes, we did. But notice here, if these are the endpoints of my segment, this doesn't bisect this segment, it's just perpendicular to it. So that's the idea, is that it has to go through this specific point, and it's not gonna necessarily go through the middle of the segment. So let's call our segment A, B, it doesn't necessarily go through the midpoint like the perpendicular bisector, which does go through the midpoint. And there's a little bit of overlap in terms of ways you could do both of these. But I like this particular method. And we're starting with saying we have some line, <laughs> excuse me, some line and a point that's not on the line. And I want, as I've said, something perpendicular to go through that specific point and it's got to be perpendicular to this line that we have. All right, the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to make that line segment, I'm going to make it longer. I'm going to make it long enough that it covers, it, I'm going to make it as long as I can, basically, that it doesn't go off my page. Well, even if it does go to the very edge of the page. Um, now, I could keep going in this way, but it really doesn't need to happen this way, and I'll show you why in just a second but I'm gonna lengthen that segment, okay? Because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this as my center, the metal brad is gonna go on top of it, and I'm gonna make an arc that sweeps across the line in two places. And if I tried to do that without making this longer, it would have probably just been out here in space when it goes to the right of B. So let's do that and see, all right? I don't have a particular measurement in mind. I just need to pick a hole that's going to, sorry for the bell, give me an arc that goes across my line twice. So notice if I hadn't extended this, I wouldn't see it crossing and I need to see where it crosses. Okay, so I'm gonna make a point at both of those places where my big arc intersects the line I want to be perpendicular to twice. All right, now that I have that, I'm going to draw two more arcs, one from here and one from here. So I'm putting the center over one of those points of intersection. And I could draw the arcs down here below my line or up here above my line. It really does not matter where. Um, I, I think I'll do it below. And all I need to know about the size is it needs to be big enough that when I draw this arc and then I move my metal brad over here, the center that my finger's on over here, and draw the other arc, they have to cross. So I want to make sure I pick an arc that's more than halfway to this point. I'm going to pick, um, how about this point between W and A1? Okay, there's an arc. And then I'm going to move over to this other point of intersection of the original arc. Hold that still and get my point between W and A1 and draw another arc. And look, I've got another curved X, kind of like when I did an angle bisector. I've got a curved X. And right at the middle of that curved X, I'm going to take that point and connect it to my original point that I said my perpendicular line has to go through. The point that I was given that they said put a perpendicular through this point. And now there I have it. This is perpendicular to AB. Perpendicular, remember, means meets at a 90 degree angle. So I hope this has helped. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Please replay it as many times as you need. Hit pause when you need to to make sure that you get the next step right. Thanks again. Bye-bye.